We've been summoned, my friends. Not only have I been summoned, but the resident garden hermit here at Epic Gardening, Jacques, we've been summoned to roast yet another gardening hacks video. This one is called 21 Amazing Plants Ideas. So this one's from our friends over at 5 Minute Crafts. Now, last time we did a video at 5 Minute Crafts, I actually couldn't release it because it got copyright claimed globally, which was really annoying because this is completely a fair use thing. Maybe they're just afraid of the roast. So I brought Jacques on. Jacques, you've seen me do these, but you've never actually witnessed and been emotionally involved it's in true. one of these. It's and it's, it is a challenge. I think I'm ready to get hit with some real knowledge. Yeah. He has a PhD in geology. Is that anything close to what we have at, at Five Minute Crafts? <laughs> no, it's not, unfortunately. I'm sorry to say that. So let's just go ahead and get going right now. Okay, so we have a plastic. Is that, is that a watermelon? Is that a watermelon? That's wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> First of all, how did they get the watermelon it's, 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 it's completely the longest vine. It's complete. Well, it's, there's no roots. It's completely separate. Oh, well, there's. It's yeah. not even attached no. to the soil. I mean, it looks like a pothos or something in the background. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not <laughs> okay, so they've now done that. Now it's exploding in growth. Oh, okay. And it's go oh, okay. Okay, well, actually, clear. you know what? Those are real. Those actually are real. No, you I'll can, say this. I'll I was, say that you can do it in real life, but yeah. I wouldn't say that those are real. Okay, you don't think those are real? They might not be, but I will say this. I went to Japan. I spent some time in Japan. You could buy shaped watermelons, like a square, right? Or you could also buy perfectly circular watermelon. I don't think they, they had that in a mold and shaped it. Obviously these, they did. Oh, this is more novelty. So this is possible, guys. Now, <laughs> is the way they did it the way to do it? Certainly not. Okay, what is this? Bulb planter? Is it? It looks like it. Okay. So They've taken... Okay, that's... <laughs> okay. What? Why, though? Why, though? I mean, your hand will just... <laughs> Just take it and put it right in the soil because what is that like? It looks like a peace lily maybe or something yeah. like that. Now they straighten it up, which, which is literally that's what they could have done. That's what they could have done. We have a spider plant and a hair clip. Oh, there's a character. There's a character now. Protagonist. Emerges. Protagonist. Okay. You know what? Wow. That's okay. nice zoom. Nice zoom. <laughs> this is actually legit. I was gonna say this is actually legit. This is how, exactly how you would do like a strawberry runner, for instance. We, we've done this with strawberry runners. We've also done this. I've quite literally done it with spider plants in my oh, old place. Yeah. Because they'll they'll produce the pups offshoots, oh, I see. Um, sort of the puplets, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> but they're way disconnected from the mother. Oh, you wow. know, so when you grow a big spider plant in a pot, like a hanging pot, they'll droop as one stem, I and see. then the whole plant will form. And, form and so one. if you just if you just paper clip it in or stake it in right in the soil, you'll get the whole development. It's, it's almost the exact same as a strawberry yeah. runner. I think we need this camera though. Because uh, I need that camera. <laughs> yeah, and I need roots to develop that fast in my life. And that actually what they're doing here is correct. Once that once it roots, you would separate it from the mother. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Who's this? I've never seen someone so enthusiastic eating that pineapple. I think I know where this is going. I think I know where this is going. Okay, so this is actually correct so far. Yeah. This is would be the way to get to that area of the pineapple stem that actually can produce roots. Yeah, the totipotency is what they say. Potential to create okay. roots. So water, smart. Wow. That the animations are on point. Just <laughs> really good. It's like Spider Man with a web. <laughs> Honestly, this is not No, I think so far okay. Okay, well, no, we I don't like this. I like the what is membrane. what is this? Why do this? Oh, they're making a hole? That's a really deep <laughs> hole. That <laughs> okay, well, so when the pineapple roots, I guess that's a way to do it, but you certainly could use that other bulb planter was even less. I, that would have made the, sense. Use the bulb planter thing from the other hack. Or Don't use the coke pot. How about this? Berries. You put some soil, you put your plant, and yeah. then you put more soil. That's the way to do it. You, you backfill. It's done. called backfilling. You're done. You know, it's just, so you, oh, oh, you know, and I don't like that. <laughs> So a simple, simply one day later, you'll have a pineapple. That's actually two years. How I know it's not real? There's no roots up against the glass. Yeah, that's a good, actually, like, that's a good catch. Yeah, that's... that's a good catch. Okay, here we go. She's got a Dracaena. She's not, oh my hacksaw. God, <laughs> she has a hacksaw. Okay, what is she doing here? She's taking chunks out and bending it. Is she gonna, yeah, is she gonna go like, like a balloon animal type of vibe here with foil? Okay. Honestly, I actually think that's possible with yeah. Dracaena. I'll allow it. I'm not going to say it looks good, though. I, I d certainly doesn't look good. You know what people do, though, with Dracaena instead? Usually is they swirl it. Right. So they'll actually that. have it grow through a coil instead of doing it this way, which is definitely more damaging to the plant to do it this way, I think. Oh. Okay, there's a cat in a box. box. Is this a poop oh. thing? No. <laughs> No, okay. It's just, well, it's not expected I thought it might have been a, a cat poop I thought, I mean, I thought it was a litter box. Yeah, so did I. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so now the cat's back in the action. Here's the thing, though. Cats 
love cat grass. Yeah, they so, really do. Pro tip. You have some. You should do that. You have some cats. Yeah, I have yeah. some cats. Yeah, I have yeah. a little bit of cat grass. But I mean, honestly, the way that this litter box is set up where you have the grate on top and then you have the like the, the pullout for the mm -hmm. filter might even be a good way to grow, it's grow like this. Kind of it, it's like a microgreen tray with, with bottom holes and then a, cap, a capture basin at the bottom. Okay. So let's see what she's doing here. It's like a wheatgrass juice. I think that's thing? like a wheat. Oh, so then the, oh. you you actually will get that. You'll yeah. get you'll get those roots coming in with a bread it's funny knife. Because the animation definitely made it look fake. Yeah, she's having really dramatic conversation. Uh, oh my god! A little long. We've all been here. <laughs> we've, we've, all been we've all been here. here. Okay, so how is she going to solve this? And I don't like that. <laughs> and I immediately I don't like that. Not because okay, of what so it is, but thing. just because yeah. Why would you water it? Uh, Look, that's the purpose of that device. It's excess water. This one is the first real big oopsie, in my opinion, because it's like, first of all, you're wasting a feminine hygiene product. There's yeah. no point. Why would you waste that? Second of all, uh, just water it less. And also, she held it up and the water was coming out. Yeah. That's how that's that problem how gets do solved. <laughs> you don't need to add any sponging think, or anything like I think that. The sponge was also preventative because she watered it. Yeah. Right? It's yeah, not yeah. like it sucked it out. Oh, anyway. that's a good point. She's trying to say, put them in before you yeah. overwater it. We're gonna let that yeah, one go. I'm gonna emotionally no that release one. that one. Okay, so she's sad that this is dying or dead. She's got. Some, oh, don't worry, I have some clippers. Oh, it fell to goes. the grounds. I'm. I'm doing. I'm, I'm guessing she's propagating here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Foam rubber. Foam. <laughs> I don't think that's a real plant, dude. I think that's plastic. That looks. It's too shiny. It's way too shiny. And it's too perfect, and it's not deforming enough. No. Foam well, rubber too is. Also, why I would think, you use that? I don't know. What is this? The whole special setup. Okay. The hack that involves t gear you don't even have is not a hack. Like, is this a weird, like, baby baby spaghetti colander for, like, children? I don't know. What is that? I don't know what that is. I've, I've never seen I've it. I've never seen a product like that in my well, life. Let's see what happens, though. Okay, let's Maybe see what happens. It's... Let's stop doubting. Okay. Wow. Well, I don't know if they... So, so, so actually, here's something kind of interesting about when you're propagating houseplants like this. You can actually skip that whole first step and just put it directly in the soil for most plants. Um, you know, some things will live forever. Like, I have pothos from my my um, house plants in the shower sort of thing that I did, yeah. that they'll stay in those little tubes forever. They're not thriving, but they're not dying. They look right. fine. Just alive. Uh, but you, you certainly don't have to do that if your goal is to get it in the soil. Just keep the soil adequately moist and just do it that way. It's totally fine. All right, what's next? Oh. If you've ever messed with a, like a, any plant like this before, that little nub there, you know it's connected to the main part of the plant. Yeah. Like, that, <laughs> like the, the tree or whatever it is. Yeah. You can't just, it doesn't just slide off. Like, yeah. It's not going to be bare underneath. That's mm -hmm. like a branch. It's coming out. So this is staged. This is for sure First staged. For sure staged. Second of all, so she's pre-prepped another okay. thing to I slide see. on. I mean, look, neither Jock or I are fantastic yeah. grafters, so we can't say for sure, but <laughs> it doesn't feel legit to me because they've removed... So that, like, I think what you're doing there is you're, you're trying to do a budding, not a grafting yeah, technique. Right. Well, typically with budding, from my understanding, is you're cutting the bud out and deliberately placing it into another budding site on the other plant. Right. Um, which so is which is different from grafting because grafting has multiple buds on the stem you're grafting in. Yes. Budding is actually more efficient. You can get way more buds per tree off than you can graft. Yeah, and you kind of do less damage overall. So. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's a little bit more intricate of a process. Okay, so we have a rose. So it turned into roses, I think. Well, what is this? Lemon, lemons and roses <laughs> as one plant? Because I don't I like... I think that's the graft. Oh, is that what they're trying to say? I think that's the graft. Oh, no. I think they grafted the that's rose to legit. a lemon tree. So you can graft... I mean, you can definitely graft citrus. There's a lot of different yeah. plants. But you can't, as far as I'm aware, do that. I don't that. know if the technology exists. For that. <laughs> I don't know if uh, <laughs> nature has developed that skill set yet. Uh, hello, my name is John. Help me, please. <laughs> Classic. Punsidia. Yeah. What? Okay, so now what she's doing is... Yeah. But, this um, is. This does not feel... No, I don't that, think no, she's, it looks like No, that. she's putting an aeonium into a poinsettia. But does it, but does it have a stalk like that? This looks like plastic. Yeah. Because that doesn't whoa, grow whoa, from whoa, like whoa, a look stock. Look at this. It's glitter. That's glitter. <laughs> this whole thing is fake right here. Cool. This, <laughs> what is this, dude? <laughs> what she's doing. So the cat's back. Question is, what's the cat going to do? Gonna... She's saying water the flower to her cat. Okay, that I mean that'd be pretty nice. Yeah. What? <laughs> the cat's like, no, dude. <laughs> yeah, we got a new That's main character. That's certainly not. Not only is that not my job, but I don't <laughs> know how to do that. So okay, so she's gonna create some sort of wicking dripper or something like it that. It looks like it. Yeah. Uh, what? Dude. Okay. I'll just say this: these water while you're away hacks that you see all over the place. 
if you're away for less than a week, you probably don't even have to worry about it. Right. Um, but secondly, like, yeah, it's going to drown it and drain it out. And then it'll even fill, probably overfill the yeah. drainage thing at the bottom, the tray. Uh, and it's just the flow rate's too high. So yeah. unless, you, unless you're sealing it somehow. You could, I mean, what you could do is you could use a wick method yeah. and wick it in. Right. And then the soil the will only slower. pull via capillary action when it's dry enough to pull, to force the action. Um, but this is just gravity fed. So it's just going to keep going until gravity has pulled all the water through the bottle. So I would say this is a, for me, this is a hard no. Yeah. And also it's a lot more effort than it's worth to, to create that I mean, thing, you know. That. Okay, we've got a, um, kind of looks like a peace lily there. Okay. You know, she's doing a floating home. raft. Oh. Okay. Right. Yeah, as, yeah. Lo as long as you've cut underneath a node or it's a plant that can root via stem tip cuttings and water propagation, this is pretty clever, reasonable. pretty clever technique. Like I said, you don't have to do it that way. You could just plant it in the medium. She's planting it in right there, but it doesn't not work. Okay, so she has a broken stem and she's very sad. Oh, she's like, oh wait, I have a straw. Oh wait, I have a straw, I'll lick the straw. Why'd she lick it? Okay, so cut the straw and then sever the straw in half. Okay, it's like a, oh, oh is she gonna make like a crutch? She's gonna do a splint. I mean, sure. <laughs> like how it, it just flopped over. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it did fall, but. Uh, it's, it's actually not that bad because yeah. what you, you might also want to take grafting tape uh, and wrap around the joint so it's make actually it tight. tighter. But then to make sure that gravity doesn't take it down, that's a, kind of a clever yeah. technique to do that, yeah. I think. Okay, we have a mop with our character now. She's taken its head off and she's stabbed it into a pot of soil. You know what? Is she doing a moss pull? I, was, I think she was, I was just going to say it's probably like a monstera thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's using coconut fiber instead of pea. So a lot of times when people do a moss bowl is they'll use like a piece of wood, they'll put moss and then they'll use mesh around right. the mosh to, to keep it in place. Cause that's the hard part is keeping it in place. I'm interested in that little shovel though. That is a cute little shovel, isn't it? Maybe for your, your birthday, I'll get you a little treat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Tying it to that. Uh, that th that's not a bad idea. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. So it could root. Yeah, yeah. It forces, it forces like, cause it, if you're doing this, you're doing this with a plant that develops aerial roots. And sometimes getting them to adhere is a trigger on that side where it's going to know, hey, I'm, I'm safe to climb. If it's in the air, it'll throw out little tiny nubs yeah. and then they air prune themselves off. But if you keep that thing nice and moist, they, I mean, this this actually works quite well. Um, you can actually see that it looks like they did put some sort of mesh yeah, around it, it uh, which is a very good technique. We actually have a whole video on this. I'll link it in the description here. So there's a newspaper. What was that move? <laughs> she like flashed yeah, it in pretty... front of us and she's going to wrap it in. Suspiciously. What language is that, dude? Is that German? Is that German? I yeah, I think it's German. it's German. Okay. And then she's going to fill around. Oh, uh, to keep it clean? What is she doing? I think she's keeping the plant clean. Is that really what she's going to be? I think so. Like that. Dude, I have no words. <laughs> <laughs> I have no words for that. Like, it's not, that's not a problem. You just water it after or whatever, <laughs> yeah. right? Brush it off. Who, ca who cares? Okay, so is this a new, this is a I new woman. A new this character. is a new woman. New oh, no, she's feeling good. She's eating an apple. Didn't take a bite of that. No, she did. Oh, she just poisoned. got poisoned by the apple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she chopped it in half. She's putting it in foil. What? So she, she froze the apple. Wait, what, dude? Oh, she vernalized it. But you don't need to do that in the apple. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so what, I guess what they're trying to say here is that some seeds require vernalization. Apples, being a cold weather preferred crop, are one of those if you're starting it from seed. I've never started an apple from seed. I haven't either. And actually, typically, it's... you're certainly not going to get true to type. And the reason why is because apples are grafted on rootstock, M111, these sorts of rootstock, because the rootstock confers a benefit to the soil and the roots of the plant, which then goes upwards. But the fruit genetics on rootstock plants aren't typically that good. And so you're going to graft onto the rootstock and grow the, the grafted plant. And almost no apples today are you growing true as genetically identical top to bottom. And so that's why you wouldn't grow from seed, along with the fact that it just takes a really long time. Yeah. Nevertheless, uh -oh. Oh, oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the plot thickens, that. dude. What? Jock, this is your first roast. What do you think of, of these 21 amazing plants ideas? I think I... <laughs> <laughs> I think I learned at least two ideas. If you guys have other video ideas that you want us to roast, please let us know. We're actually going to be roasting subscriber gardens as well as your biggest plant fails this season, which I think is going to be hilarious because we have a ton to share. I was going to say, we don't have any. <laughs> I have a ton. <laughs> Mr. Humble over here no, has I, none, apparently. I definitely have at least one. Anyways, make sure to subscribe and also make sure Jacques has his own channel, Jacques in the Garden. He's going over more in-depth topics on DIY budget approaches to gardening. So check that out over on Jacques' channel and on Instagram. And until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.